Welcome to InfoGamer, my name's Mark, and we're gonna start creating game objects in Blender to go into our Unity games we've been showing you guys how to create. So we're gonna start off real easy, and then we're gonna go on to harder game objects like swords and characters to model in Blender. This first video, we're actually just gonna create a ramp for our maze game, but if you just wanna create a ramp for your own game, like if it's a racing game, this video is still gonna be really helpful. It's also gonna be really helpful if you are a beginner at Blender because we are gonna go over a whole bunch of tips and tricks that will get you manipulating game objects right off the bat and getting you to position things exactly where you want them um, faster. So, one thing you can do to help me out in this Blender tutorial is let, let me know if I'm being descriptive enough. Let me know if you're able to follow along. Let me know if I'm entertaining enough um, to actually follow. But uh, let me know that in the comments. And then also, if you are able to do all that, please leave a like on this video. It's gonna help me out a lot and also help other people be able to find good Blender tutorials to get them started creating game objects in Blender. So let's get started creating that ramp for our maze game. Now, if you haven't created the maze game, you can go ahead up to this playlist over here in the corner, select that, and it should bring in a, a box link to the maze playlist game. But that's, you know, you can start creating that maze and then throw this ramp in there. Or if you already have an idea for a game that you want to put a ramp in, this ramp should work out for that. Okay, now let's get started. All right, I have a new Blender project open and you can go ahead and right click the mouse and just delete, hit the delete button and hit okay on the camera, hit delete. And then there's a light over here as well. You can hit delete on those too. Because when we're dragging this game objects into Unity, it will pull the camera and the light in as well if you don't do that. And then you'll have a bunch of extra lights and cameras in Unity. Okay, so I've got the beginning cube here that, that starts out with, and if you come over here to this plus button, you can click on it and it will make sure your game object is selected, and when you have that panel open, you'll be able to see the dimensions right here under the word dimensions. <laughs> okay, but right now the cube is at two in each axis, and if you drag this cube into, if you export it and move it into Unity, it will be a two by two unit um, in Unity as well. So we're going to want to change our walls in the maze game are set up to be one, one, and one. Um, and so this is the same width as a wall in one of our, in our maze game. Okay, we've changed the dimensions. We can then make it wider by hitting 2 in the Y, or you can go ahead and hit S. No, that scales it in all directions. You can then hit Y after hitting S, and it changes so you can only scale in the Y axis. But we want to keep it an even number, so let's just go ahead and drag this back and make it 2. Okay. Then let's hit tab, and this will move us into edit mode. We can hit tab again, and it will go back to object mode, or you can come down here, select object mode or edit mode. Tab's just really easy if you remember that. Um, and now we have everything selected, and you can deselect everything by just hitting A, or reselect everything by hitting A. Okay, but we just want one corner, and you can do that by selecting B, and it comes up with a selector drag window where you can drag a window over the area you want to select and right now we just want to select this vertex and this little red and white thing is actually our cursor and it's not where we want it to be we want it to be on this vertex and the easy way to fix that is hitting shift s and saying cursor to selected as you can see it says cursor to selected you select it and it moves our cursor directly into that vertex. Okay, we're ready to select this entire corner. And now that we have it selected, we can merge these two vertexes together by hitting Alt-M. And we have three options here. We can either hit Collapse, which will collapse in the center of both of these vertexes, or at Cursor, 
or at the center of the, um, I think it would merge over here, which we don't want. Hit Alt M and hit at cursor. Sweet, we already have half of our ramp built. If you want to leave your ramp like that, uh, go ahead. It's going to be a little bit harder to maybe hit it at, at this angle, but maybe you want a corner ramp or something like that. Um, and now I'm wanting a ramp that is a bit less steep. So instead of doing this side, which will have it be steeper but a wider ramp, I'm going to actually do the same steps over here and select this corner. As you can see, this vertex has stayed selected, so you can fix that easily by hitting B again, or no, just hitting A and deselecting everything, and then hitting B and reselecting this corner. Again, do you remember the key, the hot key to move the cursor to the vertex that we want it to be? This was selected vertex. Do you guys remember? Come on, think about it. Shift S. Cursor to selected. Okay, it's moved our cursor right over the vertex, and we can then hit B again and select this entire corner. Now, do you guys remember the merge hotkey that we went over? Let's, let's, it's Alt M. And we want to do at cursor. Sweet, we already have our ramp built. We can then save this off and export it as an FBX and move it into Unity. So let's go ahead and do that. You're, you're going to want to create a folder where you know where all these game objects are. So remember the path for these game objects so you can find them when you're in Unity. You can find them in a folder and drag them into your project window. So I'm just going to export this as an FBX. I've got a folder named Blender Shapes and I can select a ramp and export it because this is going to be our ramp. Let's go over to Unity and put it into our maze game. If you guys haven't followed along, again, you can create this maze um, over here on this playlist. You can click this little icon and it should come up with the playlist for the maze. That's cool because it says Info Gamer inside the maze. It's pretty awesome. But anywho, let's get on with putting that game object that we just created in Blender into our Unity game game it's gonna be awesome okay I just drag it into my project window over here from my folder and then I'm ready to drag it into my scene view okay now you might not like the rotation that it is right now um, but you can go ahead and rotate it on the y-axis you can rotate it like 180 um, and then you can drag it up and let's actually drag it over to one of our walls and you can manipulate this like we did the walls in our maze playlist you can hit V select the corner and drag it right to another corners wall then we can hit control and drag it anywhere along that wall that we want let's drag it right there Let's change the color to actually blend in with the wall. If you're doing a top-down view, maze view, you might want to change all the ramps to the same color so that people playing your maze actually know that it's a ramp because as you look down from the top view, it looks like just another wall. But for now, we're going to color it the same. We're going to drag in a material in onto our ramp. Sweet. Okay, let's play this game. Oh, actually, we got to add some things to our ramp to make sure it works. Okay, I have ramp selected. You want to add a component and add a mesh collider. So type in mesh, and it will actually pull the mesh that's already on the game object and create a collider out of it. Okay, so if we hit play, this ramp should act like a ramp. And it did. Awesome. It worked. All right, one thing before I go. Um, as you notice, the scale on this game object, even though it's the same, it's, it's saying it's a lot bigger scale than it actually is. 
that is okay. We can always go ahead and change the scale um, and make this ramp even wider so it's less hard to, to hit. Um, and it acts the same. If I can get the marble over there. Sweet. Awesome ramp, guys. You can now duplicate this ramp and move it anywhere in your maze that you want. You can, uh, if we go ahead and select this, um, let's uh, select R or W and then hit Control D. We can drag it over while holding Control and drag it to our other wall. You're probably going to want to turn the gravity up on your marble so that it doesn't fly when it hits the ramp and it stays inside the lane. But anyways, um, I hope you guys were able to follow along. I hope this was really helpful. Let me know in the comments again if I was too slow, too boring, or not fast enough. Just let me know. Let me know if I was too fast, all of the above. Just please let me know in the comments and I will try and do better on the next Blender tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed creating a ramp and tossing that into your maze game. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you guys later. Please subscribe and leave a like.